I've been a bit busy this week, but rather than leave everyone hanging, I figured I'd take a little bit of time to make a shorter video just to tide everyone over until my next one can come out. For now, enjoy a little experiment I tried between two rather different Apple computers. In previous videos, I mentioned the serial port on my Newton. Now for the most part, it's useful for loading data on and off the Newton, like programs, documents, and even photographs. But even though it's used to the operating system is mostly limited to file transfers, it's a fully functional serial port, which could even be plugged into a modem, a tiny portable one made specifically for the Newton, no less, and let the Newton do things like send faxes from anywhere that had a phone jack. Now I don't have the modem, yet, and I also don't have a fax machine. But one thing I do have is an Apple IIgs, which just so happens to have the same type of serial connection that the Newton uses. Load up a little serial terminal program on the Apple II and the Newton, and things are ready to go. In all honesty, I wasn't really sure if this was even going to work, but sure enough, after matching the serial settings on both devices, I was able to transmit a text file from my Apple II to the Newton, and surprisingly quickly too. Perhaps in the future this could be taken a bit further, maybe actually connecting the Newton to a remote terminal, but for now it remains a fun proof of concept for communication between computers made over a decade apart. 